Welcome to the SiteCam Quick Start video. Okay, let's dive in. Creating a project. Get started with SiteCam by creating or joining a project. If you're joining a project, skip ahead to the section on how to add photos. Okay, when creating a project, a good place to start is understanding how a SiteCam project works. A SiteCam project organizes photos by folders. You have the option to attach a plan to each folder. This allows you to pin photos onto those plans. To create a project, click on the New Project button within the mobile or web apps and give the project a name. If you want to pin photos onto plans for your project, you can import these plans at the start of the process. This creates a folder for each plan page that you select. If you don't need to pin photos to plans, you can manually create folders as needed. You can come back and edit the folder structure at any time. After you've set up the project folder structure, invite any team members you'd like to share the project with. Finishing the setup takes you into the project. All projects contain a gallery and map tab for viewing your information. If your project contains one or more plans, then it will also have a plan tab for viewing photo locations on each plan. Adding photos to a project. To add photos to a project, you can either use the capture button within the mobile app or the add photos button in the web app on your computer. Within the mobile app, you can take photos or load them in from your gallery. All the photos you add together will form a capture group. Proceed from adding photos to entering the details for that capture group. Here you can choose the folder for the photos to go into. And if the folder has a plan attached to it, you can choose whether to pin these photos to the plan or not. If you are pinning to a plan, drag or tap the pin into position. Choose a record type to categorize your photos. Then add any custom tags and descriptions needed. Recently used tags are shown for you to quickly tap to select. To save, press Done. As soon as your photos have uploaded, they will be available for your team to view and to use when generating a report. If your photos contain GPS information, their locations will be shown on the project map. You can open a capture group by selecting one of the photo pins on the map or one of the photo thumbnails in the gallery or one of the pins on a plan. If you're adding photos that don't have GPS, you can add a pin position for them by opening the photo, selecting the edit location option and moving the pin. Filtering your photos. Within the project, you will see a filter button. You can use the filter button to narrow down to particular photos. For example, to help you find photos within a certain date range or photos with specific tags. Selecting a plan from the plan tab applies a filter for that folder. Use the clear button to reset the applied filters and view all your photos again. Generating a photo report through the app. Within a project, select the Generate Photo Report option within the three dots menu and pick which photos you wish to include in the report. Once you're happy with your selection, proceed to see the report. The descriptions from each capture group are brought into the report for the photos you select. Use the Customize View menu to edit the look of the report and enter some information. This report is ready for you to share as a link or save as a PDF. Each report made is listed in the Reports tab. You can also select to make a new report from the Reports tab. Here you can choose to make a report from photos you already have in SiteCam or by importing new photos from your gallery. Marking up a photo. It's easy to mark up a photo to highlight a particular feature. When adding the photo to the mobile app, tap on the thumbnail and select the markup icon. You can remove this markup later if needed. That's all you need to get started. Enjoy.